Cooley's got that beachy vibe, right? Yeah. Burley's that really villagey, you know, atmosphere. And Corumban is back to nature. From Burley Heads, it's a 15 minute drive to the Corumban Valley. And it's like a completely different country. Beautiful, it's lush, it's rainforesty. It's like you're in far north Queensland, not the Gold Coast. And hidden in the rainforest is a little taste of barley. And this morning, it's all about breakfast, DIY style. Welcome to Tentaram Fine Foods Cooking School in the beautiful Kraman Valley. Tentaram is an Indonesian word that means peaceful, spiritual, and yes, you could be forgiven for thinking you're in Bali. Today, we're going to make a healthy Indonesian breakfast. Oh. Love it. <laughs> Didn't guess that. So I hope you guys like a little bit of spice. We're going to be making yeah. uh, some nasi goreng. Mate, I could eat nasi goreng for the rest of my life. Justin and Kay have combined their love of barley with their love of local Corumban produce. We like to source everything that we use for the cooking school locally when possible. So the mushrooms that you're using there are fresh portobellos from Mount Cotton. You're loving this? I'm loving this. It's I love good, a cooking it? class. I love learning new skills. I'm passionate about food. And yeah. when you have produce like this, it's... You can't Fantastic. go wrong. You can't. The two-hour healthy breakfast class is full of tips. So I'm going to show you guys uh, an easy way to de-seed chilli so you're not getting too many seeds on your fingers, which is where all the heat is. Start giving it a bit of a roll. And then basically what that does is just releases all the seeds in there. If you give it a shake around, you hear there, it's a bit like a yep. miracle. Yeah. You'll hear all those seeds have come loose. Yeah. Then what you do is just <laughs> chop both ends off. Roll it between your hands over the bowl there. Oh, and wow. All those seeds right. will just come straight out. And it just feels really authentic and very healthy, so I can't wait to find out what it's going to taste like. So we're going to make the spice paste now in the Ulican. So we've got turmeric, galungal, lemongrass. We have ginger and garlic. And basically, you've just got to keep going until you really break it all down. The finer you chop it up, the easier your job's going to be yeah, right. in there. We're just going to have that on low heat. And we're just going to add our bumbu barley that we just uh, we made. Yeah, that's going to smell good. And it's going to smell good. And you just want to cook that till it starts to get fragrant. Then we're going to add our uh, chilli and garlic. Go for it, So just size. throw in so. Yep. And we'll also pop in some leek and some shallot. Yum, so much spice and heat. So stir frying is lots of heat. Never in my wildest dreams did I think we were going to be cooking this. I know, it's like it's we're in Bali almost. It's just like it's being in Bali, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to show Tom a secret way of how to crack an egg into a wok without getting any yolk on your hands, just using one hand. So we're going to use the rice spatula and we're just going to use this to lever the egg apart. So you're just cracking it like so, turning the egg with your spatula. Do you want to have a try with the second one? And just give it a turn. Not too... Oh, so if you're holding the egg too much. <laughs> Don't blow it it's on the... me. <laughs> and that's sort, that's sort of how you do it? That's sort of... I think I... It's not panning out how we want it to, so we might have a few crunchy eggshells. You know what I say, extra flavour. In goes the rice, the nasi ingredient, very important. Nasi is rice in Indonesian. And this is already cooked, this rice. Yeah, but right? one thing when we're, when we're adding rice to a wok, don't stab at the rice, because oh. you'll actually break, break the grains up. So you can just push down on it, yeah. like say, and it'll just fall apart as the heat goes through with a bit of pressure, oh, okay. and then you can just stir it through. There's another lesson. And that's how you make nasi goreng. Great. Easy. Love Excellent. it. On the Good barbie job. too, even yeah. On the barbecue. So, yes, yeah, so you get, get your Australian uh, twist on it. It looked like a traditional Balinese feast. This looks great. I've learned heaps. Oh, you're oh, welcome, guys. Right. And uh, as I say in Indonesia, slum up makan. If you closed your eyes, the smells, the taste, everything, you could be in Bubud. You know, it is just so tranquil, so beautiful. Really enjoyed the whole experience and then at the end of course the amazing food.